this video is on our Nurkan manufactured end caps. Um, this is what it looks like at the finished and this is what it looks like when it comes off our laser. And what we'll do is we'll show how to fold this up and how to modify this in the field. What we're going to show here is how we fold up our Nurkan end cap. What we do is on the laser is we perforate this on all the bend points. Uh, and we use, it can be done many ways to fold it up. We can either use a vise like we're going to use, a crescent wrench will work, or some people use a duckbill vise grip. <clears throat> so what we do is we just line this up at the, at the perforation and fold it over. Now this is a little bit bigger end cap because it's for a drive, so it takes a little bit more. And it can be some of it can be done by hand, like this bigger perforation here. If you just put your thumb there and fold this down, it bends that down like so. And you can bend the last little bit by just forcing it and getting it to, to square up. When you get your Nurkai conveyor, it's going to come with an end cap that looks like this. You may want to modify it to allow for certain things. Let's say you want to have your product discharge off the end of this conveyor. Just simply unbolt it. It'll be tighter than that. You can use wrenches. And then what you want to do is you want to break these tabs off. Just use a crescent wrench and bend this back and forth until it snaps off. And then it'll break off on this line as well. That'll allow you to have this cap for the end. Now you'll need to deburr this a little bit. Just take some sandpaper and deburr that. This just snaps off. And then you can remount it. And instead of using bolt bolts, you'll just use the one bolt. Frame is tapped to this. And it'll look like that. Take that up. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna make some assumptions that we, we want to flush mount a conveyor up against the side of here and do a side transfer. Well this kind of stuff is in the way. So what we're gonna do now is show you how to just remove those items. Bolt it, unbolt it from your conveyor, and either a crescent wrench again or a duckbill vice grip, and just break these tabs off, the ones that you don't want. And then when you remount it, you want to clean these edges up after you break those off. There's little uh, sharp spots on there. But when you remount it, there's a bolt hole down here. And bolt it on the other side, just like you had it before. 